I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of videos like these. Well, those are mine. In today's video, we will learn how to animate those types of videos. We will learn how to combine Canva elements using just CapCut and much more. Not only that, you will also learn how to animate the main elements of those videos with CapCut, of course. For free, let's get started. This is the main key to animating these types of videos, so pay attention to learn a lot. First of all, we need CapCut. We will edit in a 916 format because most of the videos I've seen are shorts. But you can apply the technique to every type of video. We need a grid background, and you can create one pretty fast in Canva. <laughs> Now we will import our background and adjust it so the animation can appear as the main part of the video. Let's modify the background a bit. We will reduce the opacity by 50% and apply the effect black noise. After that, adjust the brightness by 20% as I do. Now you can import your two elements or you can also import letters, graphs or images. Then import default text. Type in dash as many times as you want. Turn the line 90 degrees and click on character minus 3. Now you can make the line even bigger. To make the line larger, you can go to scale and turn off the uniform scale. You can make the line larger or thicker by playing with the height. Now let's add some glow. You can make it the way you like. Make a compound clip from the line. Go to mask, her eyes and all, and then turn it minus 180 degrees. Increase the feather by 5%. Now, make sure you are at the beginning of the video. Make a keyframe on position, then move forward to the end of the video. Make another keyframe on position. Now, drag the line almost to the end. We got it, guys, if you want the line to move faster. Move the keyframe if you want the line shorter. Then move the mask. Do not forget to optimize the keyframes by choosing Auto Curve. Let's dive into the next tutorial. For this one, you can make the most progress and the best videos. We will combine Canva elements to create motion clips. First of all, search in Canva for a jumping ball. Choose a green background and then export the video. For the column, I will choose a square and transform it. Now, let's dive into CapCut. Insert the background. Do the same adjustments as me. Insert the ball video and go to chroma key. Choose the green color and remove it. Now increase the size of the ball and place it somewhere to the left. Look for where the ball lands and leave a bit of space for the column. Now add the column under where the ball lands like I do. Animate the column with the slide up animation. Now it looks like the ball never falls down because of the column. Now click on the ball and go to where the slide up animation ends. Add a keyframe on position. Let the ball jump one more time and stop when the ball is at the lowest point. Move the ball to the right. Be sure the Y position remains the same. Just copy it from the first keyframe. Now, copy the column video and move the column also to the right. Be sure the Y position remains the same. Uh, 
Now, it looks like the ball is jumping to the right and lands on the column. Split the column video and choose slide down animation. Move the video a bit forward until we get to the highest point of the ball. Go to the top video where the slide up animation ends and add a keyframe on position. Now go to the point where the ball is at its highest point and move the column to the left once. Move the lower video where the upper video ends. <laughs> Move it to the right by copying the position of the upper video. At this point, the process begins to repeat. video really professional. Go to the background where the first ball keyframe animation ends. Add a keyframe on position. Go to the end of the video. Add a keyframe on position. Adjust the X position by typing minus the number you want. Here we go, guys. Let's talk about the last element, the circle animation. First, insert the background. Insert default text and type in dot. Increase the scale and change the color to green. Add stroke and reduce its thickness. Change the color. Create a compound clip. Go to chroma key and choose green. Remove the color completely. Copy the video by holding alt and dragging it. Disable the lower one by pressing B. Choose the top one and go to mask horizontal. Rotate it by 90 degrees. Enable the lower clip. Go to mask horizontal and rotate it by minus 90 degrees. Disable the lower clip. Go to the beginning of the first clip and add a keyframe on rotation. Go to the end of the video and type in 450 degrees. Enable the lower video and go to the middle of the video. Cut it out and delete the scene. Insert default text and type the letter O. Make sure the letter covers the animation. Now, we will need a green screen for the background. You can get one from Google or Canva. Choose the default text. Go to color and copy the same color as the green screen. Create a compound clip, insert it below. Once again, mask and rotate it by 90 degrees. Replace the background with the green screen. Now export the video. Import the video again, choose chroma key and, and the green color. Remove it all, click on reverse and we are done. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content. Feel free to leave your thoughts or questions in the comments below. I love hearing from you and of course, stay tuned for the next video until then. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.